In honor of Black History Month, we want to turn the spotlight on a West Palm Beach resident with a passion for the game of chess. He spends his time at the new downtown chess park where he's trying to create the diverse chess community he didn't have growing up. Angela Rozier has his story. Checkmate. It's over. <laughs> it's over. I was so close to look. What started about a year ago with two friends playing chess has now grown to more than 100 regular players. That's what you want to do anyways. That's what you want to do in anyway. Chat. We're told the growth of the chess culture here in downtown West Palm Beach is largely due to this man, Franklin Rivers. Me coming along, you know, it just like gave it that. <clears throat> it gave it that. Yes, 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 yes. That mm, is catching on. People not only come to play, but to hang out. Boom, boom, boom. You ready? Let's get it. He's been playing since he was five and says it can be like war, but fun. And when you in war, what you do? You want to show your enemy mercy? No, no, no. And we're friends thereafter. The West Palm Beach Downtown Development Authority launched the Fern Street Chess Park. It's a new outdoor area where local chess players can meet and play for free. We just wanted to play chess and we love our city, we love our downtown, we love our community and chess was a way to bring people together. Rivers at a young age noticed the chess world lacked diversity, something he didn't have growing up, something he wants to change. Uh, what I want to um, be able to, you know, not just African American, everyone in general, you know, the ones that, you know, to, to have the opportunity to sit down and realize that if you play chess, you pretty much can adapt chess to the way you move in life. And organizers say the group continues to grow, but the best part is meeting new people, seeing old friends, and just having fun. In West Palm Beach, Angela Rozier, WPBF 25 News.